first presented to me, first question out of my mouth, well, why should I switch? I'm, I'm doing everything just fine. My patients are doing great. Um, the realization was that actually not everybody was doing great, and the data proved that about 20% of patients were not happy with their joint replacement. So that, I think that really inspired me to look at this. I was very skeptical. How can it be that much better? So, um, but I did take somewhat of a leap of faith. I looked at the data, the technology certainly made sense to me that they're matching a patient's very unique and individual anatomy uh, and they're putting an implant to fit that specific patient. That made a lot of sense to me. So I jumped on board and I tell you that the learning curve was not that difficult. Uh, in fact, it's probably the, in, in my hands now, it's one of the easiest things that I do. It's very user friendly, uh, very reproducible, I should say. I've been the chief of orthopedics in my hospital for a number of years. And I've looked at all the different implants and I've looked at, at really how the surgeons in our hospital, how they choose their implants. And then when I started doing the conformance implant, a lot of my peers came to me and asked me about them and I told them what I was doing and why I was doing it. And a lot of them said, well, you know, can, can we do this? And I, I said, certainly, I don't have a problem with you doing it. I think patients do much better with this. And I think overall, you'll be happier doing it. And so in my hospital, I trained two or three other physicians how to do this. And then uh, a number of the other ones went and had training elsewhere. And now we've gone from having myself doing it, who was the early adopter. We have about seven of our orthopedic surgeons who are now putting in this knee almost specifically. The surgeons that come uh, to my hospital to do site visits, to watch me do surgery or to what, or what have you, or when I go in to the national meetings, they have, um, almost all of them have very similar questions. N new technology in any specialty, but in orthopedics especially, some new technologies work, others seem to work for a while and then turn out to be, you know, disasters. And so there's natural reservations in adopting a new technology. The exposure to the knee is, is identical to the exposure that surgeons are very comfortable with in performing other types of off-the-shelf implants. Most surgeons these days have some familiarity with patient-specific jigs, and the eye total is just an, an extension of that in terms of having more of the, you know, more jigs. Um, we still use saws to cut the bone. We still, you know, use cement to attach the prosthesis to the bone. So I don't think there's a huge learning curve in this. I think that uh, surgeon apprehension usually goes away after doing, after observing one or two cases and doing one or two on their own. The kits are very straightforward, very user friendly. Uh, the scrub techs seem to really be able to pick up the, uh, the steps of the procedure rapidly because of the way they have set up the, uh, the kits and simplified them and I've seen that to be a very big advantage. Uh, one good example of that is we ha I had a scrub tech that was uh, uh, very, very, uh, very good, very organized, and she took a new job. I, had, I brought in a new scrub tech, and usually there's a, there's a period of learning. She picked it up right away, um, and it was pretty seamless, to, to be honest with you, um, and it kind of exceeded my expectation and her ability to do that. So I've had a lot of different experience with different types of implants out on the market as well as different types of technologies to aid with uh, navigation, MRI-based technologies. For me, the learning curve was fairly straightforward. Um, there wasn't one. Um, what I like about it is the fact that um, there's some variability even within the patient-specific implants. Uh, for example, you're able to change um, certain positions in the guide, you're able to use different types of polyethylene sizes. So even within the uniqueness of the implant sizing, there's also variability to adjust for things in the operating room, which is unique to uh, a navigation-based system. As a surgeon, I understand that it's difficult to adopt new technology, and the conformist, customized, personalized implant is probably the easiest adoption of new technology that you'll ever do. If you're out there doing total knee replacements right now, conformist will make it even easier for you and make it easier for you to reliably reproduce those kinds of results that you more occasionally get at this time.